What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Sectionster once again and today we are going to be having a look at this hero sectioner. It comes with this nice title, a bit of text, got the button right here and the nicest part of it is of course the scrolling images which are going in both di different directions and you can customize this whole thing to your likings and I'm going to show you how you can do this in a few easy steps. First thing I did for this is that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app completely for free, non-subscription app. That explains it all. And I got this section inside the app right here. I just open it up in the admin area of the app. And here I can simply click on it and get it for a little fee of $9. It means if you bought it once, you will also own it forever. You're not gonna need an expensive developer and you have a bunch of nice benefits you can do with that whole thing. And at the end of the day, you have all the customization options in the world. So I think it's a pretty good deal. All right, let's head back to the My Sections area of the app where you can simply install the section to your very own store. If you just click on it, wait a second, if you just click on here and add it to the theme you're using, in my case it is the Dawn Live theme, but you can install it to every theme, so don't worry about that. And another nice thing about this section and all the sections inside the store are even if after install them, you can simply deinstall the app and remain with the section itself. So it's not going to store you slow down in any sort of way. So yeah, let's just open up theme editor right here, already done so. That is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. If you add it completely from scratch, just click on add section, type in SS Hero 9, and that is the one. And the default version is looking something like that. So you can see that already, but we're gonna continue with the one you saw in the beginning of the video. The only thing I did here is that I added all these images. I'm gonna show you how this works. So if you click on one of the images, you can simply change it here. And if I would add a new one, I just click on add image, click on the block itself, and here I can just chug in a new one. So that's how easy this works. And another thing I would like to show you is how you can customize the whole block itself, the text and many other things. So here you can see if it's gonna be images content, maybe we're gonna put it like that, just so you can see. We can increase the body gap, got a bit bigger now. And here we can also change the text. That's to own for a lifetime I just want to show you that it's updating live. So this is working. We can change the font, change the heading size. Maybe we don't want it that big. <clears throat> of course, the whole thing is fully responsive. So we made sure of that. Optimized for mobile because you're going to get a lot of customers on mobile. So this is something we definitely guarantee you. Here we can also decide how the text is going to be aligned. So if you want to have it in the middle, we can do that as well. But if we just want to have it in the middle on mobile, as you can see right here, and then also because of consistency, we're gonna do the same thing here and we'll do the same thing with the button as well. So we wanna have it in the center on mobile. Let's switch back to desktop. Here we have it again. And a bunch of other things we can customize. For example, like adding a little arrow to the button, deciding how big the images are actually going to be. If we wanna have them a bit higher, that is also possible. So like this, they're gonna be a bit more stretched. So this was successfully done, perfect. And here we can also decide how fast the scroll speed is going to be. If you wanna have it really slow, of course that's possible and many other things. And uh, another thing I would like to do is actually changing the section background color. Maybe we're gonna go for something a bit more greenish, I'd say. This is looking good. And now I also wanna change the text size, not the text size, the color of the heading, the button and the main text, of course, and the button we have right here. And we also want to have this one in white. And then we have to change the button text color as well. So this is all linking up to our likings. Let's have a look at it. This is looking nice. Let's save it up. And here we can see what we had in the beginning. And now with just a few touches, you can see the section completely changed. This is looking pretty nice already. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.